Hello and welcome to this video about how to DIY a ballast and igniter for, uh, for an 18 watt low pressure sodium vapor lamp. It is running on a 15 watt conventional fluorescent ballast with this extremely basic circuit diagram. Mains comes in over there 134 volts. It is a 15 watt ballast which results in about 310 milliamps. The lamp is rated for 350 so that's pretty much okay. The special sauce is a 180 nanofarad capacitor 1 kilovolt that gets switched parallel by a uh, conven conventional fluorescent light starter and let's grab the actual device hello Pikachu this is it this is all it is you get the starter with the capacitor under there and the fluorescent lamp ballast Let's put it down over here and see how it works. The uh, starter lights up. And after buzzing for a bit, it uh, opens again and ignites the socks low pressure sodium vapor lamp with fair with quite uh, quite a lot of ease and now it will be uh, warming up for a bit for about 10 minutes before it reaches its actual rated brightness during the warm up phase you can very clearly see all those spectrum lines of the Penning gas mixture. Let me try and brighten this up a bit. There we go. There is the faintest bit of blue, and then all the neon and argon, or whatever it is. Mostly neon, I think, spectrum lines. And if we point the spectro spectroscope right at the top, we can see the, the sodium line up there. What does it look like without it? without the spectroscope there we are it is not at all hot yet that will take a couple more minutes and there we have it it is now almost at full brightness on the camera you will not see it see it get any brighter because of course the camera compensates for it but it is doing a very very good job especially considering the um, igniters and the ballasts Ooh, it's still getting brighter the igniters and the ballasts have gotten pretty rare since those uh, SOX lamps went out of production either that or they are very expensive with a common fluorescent starter and a common fluorescent ballast and a big big capacitor like well big voltage wise it ignites and functions very well um, I am using the 15 watt ballast it might be that an 18 watt ballast might be more appropriate but I don't think the difference will make much of a difference lifetime wise there is an optimum temperature for these uh, for the for the lamps, but considering this is just hobbyist curiosity use, I don't mind much if I maybe get thousand hours less from a twenty thousand hour lamp or something. All right, that was it. That's it. That's it for today. And for another video, we have something. Sitting right over there. See you later.